Hey everybody, this is Linda and welcome to my channel. So um, today guys, I had a, um, a viewer ask me about how um, the Tamu acrylic stamps are inking and um, I'm going to try that today. And I've never tried them before until now, so they're still new in the packages. I just took the plastic wrap off. And I'm going to get started here. I'm using um, mixed media paper, which is good for inks or uh, wet or dry. I've got my archival ink, I've got my acrylic blocks, and I'm just going to get started. Um, this is the first one I'm going to use. Is this one with the dragonfly? I thought this was really good, cute, um, different. So I'm going to peel it off and we're going to see how easy it peels and we're going to see how it does. Okay, so now there's what it looks like. Alright, here's what it looks like after it's been peeled. And this is the side we're going to put down. Well, I think that's not quite big enough. So we're going to use this big block. I'm going to place it down, okay, and we're going to use this archival ink. I'm using black ink, and I'm just going to start to ink it up. I really like the um, stamps that they offer there, and I really hope that this stamps really well. I don't know. Let me see if my ink is wet enough. It looks like it's wet enough. Let me see, guys. Let me put in my ink refresher on there. I got a spray ink refresher to see how that's going to work. Okay. I just don't think it's black enough. Now, if it doesn't work, I will get my new one out. Alright, it's starting to cover. I want to make sure I have all of it covered. Okay. I got some on my block. Alright. Let's just try this out. I'll go up the top here. Yeah, I see I missed some here. We'll see how it does. Giving it some pressure. And when I'm uh, inking, I always like to let it sit for just a second or two. I don't like to lift it up right away. Okay. Alright, let's see how it does. Okay. There's the first run. So, if we look at what they gave us here. It's just not working like it should. So I am going to grab my brand new archival. One second, folks. We're going to see how this does. So I do have a brand new one and a great big one. I have this size. So let me just try this one out on here. I'm going to move this paper this way. I'm going to lay because the lid doesn't come off of this one. So I'm going to have to do it this way. Well, we'll see if we get a better image, huh? They got really good prices on these, but you know, if the quality's not there, it's not worth it, huh? Alright. I really don't know, folks. I really don't know if this is gonna do much of anything. Let me do a little bit more padding here.
Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try it. See how it's gonna do for us here. Okay. Okay, it's it's getting better. It is getting better. I believe my um, ink pad was just not enough. Okay, so let's move on to the other. I have another one here. And we're going to see what kind of image we get with this. This is the image that I have. Okay, and it is another big one. So let me peel that off. And let me see. I don't know if it'll fit on the small block. It may fit on the small one. our image for what we want and let me lay this down make sure I got it on there center it right okay all right so well that but still not quite right I don't have it quite right over there all right well Let's just try this one. I like this image. And there, I think this one was called something leaves. I can't remember what it said now. I took it out of the package. Let me see what it says. Uh, it's probably not going to tell me. Nope. I had I have it in my video though. Okay, all right, let's see. Well, it's covered. Let's see how it does the imprint. Okay. Down we go. Sometimes I feel like I should use a brayer on here, like bray over it and get the um, an even pressure amount on it. All right, let's see how it looks. Oh, okay. So for like right there, that did fairly well, and I like it. And there's a little bit up there. All right. That's not too bad. Okay. Let's move on to the others. Oops. And this other one is just a multiple of different ones. So let me peel off the back. And let's see how well they do. Let's start with this one with, looks like a bunch of circles or bubbles. Probably could have got a, a medium sized block. Uh, we'll just use this one. Okay, let's see. Get some pressure on it. Okay, I use these for my journaling. I like to uh, journal in books and add these images. Okay, let's try up here. Stamp it down. Give a little pressure there. Okay. And, oh, now that one did pretty good. 
because I don't have hardly any ink left. All right, that's good, it's good, it's good. All right, let's move on to I'm going to add several on here. We'll put this one on. I've got a, a circle here. Let's add that. This little splash mark. And we'll take one of these that looks like... Oh no, that is one whole thing. Let me see. We'll do this one. Okay. Now, let me turn them this way. Let's go load it up. Pressure it in. Okay. All right. Looks like I got enough on there. I'll go over here. I do remember this one was called like a Merry Christmas. But you know, I don't I don't know about that. There's, I think uh Timu's um like their meaning of Christmas or like this was said Merry Christmas. So but maybe they're thinking celebrate celebration because that kind of looks like it. Like a celebration, like a firework. Okay, let's see what we got. All right, look at that. They all did really well. A little bit there, but so far, I'm liking it. So far, I'm happy. Okay, let me take these off. And there was one on here. There's another circle. Looks like a honeycomb. I'm not too sure how big it is. Well, this is one big thing. Okay. So this here and here is one big piece. All right. So let me move this. I'm going to try this one. Bring it back. And make sure they're on my block. And let's load it and see what kind of image we get with this one. I think I am going to buy some more stamps. But when I'm done here, I'm going to show you what the dies did. Okay. All right, let's see. No, I don't know. Yeah, I think I got enough on there. some pressure. Okay, lift. All right, hey, that did good because right here, you see on this part, on the original, it doesn't have that right there. So it, it did perfectly on that one. Okay. So all in all, guys, other than that very first one of this dragonfly, I think the dragonfly could be better. I'd like to try one more time. Let's try the dragonfly just one more time. See if I can't get a better impression. Because... That one there is the first one I bought, and it really caught my eye. Okay. So let me go. Load it up. Make sure we get enough ink on there. Let's see if we can get a nice, solid impression on this one. Okay. Looks like I've got enough there. 
We'll try it. Okay. Some pressure on it. see how it did. Nope. It's still doing that right in this area just like it did before. Yeah, if we compare the first one. Here's what it did in the first and it did a little better in the second. And the third like it didn't there but it did. It, it's coming along but it upsets me that it doesn't do a nice impression like up in here the first time so let me show you what the dies did I only have three dies and I'll show you how they did so this one is the one I have and this one here with the B and I also have a doorly one that I picked out so I did the doorly first okay and it's really small because there it is in my palm of my hand but this is how it did and I'm really pleased with that really really nice I really wanted a doorly die and that turned out really good. And I know there's several. They have several of the doily dies. But um, that did really well. Okay. And this was done on um, uh, like a medium kind of thickness of uh, scrap paper. So the next, I did this one. So I have a cuddle bug. And... I am putting the die in the cuddle bug. You know, you crank and you put it in this way. But I was putting it in horizontal because this is made to go on the edge of a piece of paper. Um, like like on the edge of a book page. So the first couple times, um, actually, the first time I had to, th well, I think I... I think I threw the first one away. It was really bad. So the second one, it just did this impression. It didn't cut out like it should have. Like it, that's all it did. And then the third time, it just it didn't do anything. All right. So I'm like, okay, what am I doing wrong? So I thought, well, maybe if I take it in and instead of going in horizontal, I'll take it in and go vertical. That way I can just use it like on a card um, like, or inside of a journal on, a, on the side of a page. So when I did that, it actually did better. So um, when I cranked it through, and then um, I did have to take a pokey tool and get some of the pieces off. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna say around five pieces didn't poke out, so I had to poke them through, but they were cut. They just didn't come off when I peeled it. So there's that one with the rose, okay? And then the next one with the B, um, it was it was the same thing. At first I went through this way. It wouldn't cut. It it just was all over the place with um, it was bad. So I went and I put it. Um, you know, I went this way, then I went this way, I went um, vertical, and it did a really good cut. Uh, I had to poke out about four pieces of this one, but it did peel off, and most of the pieces fell out. Like little tiny dots I had to um, poke out. So, um, all in all, I'm, I'm pleased with what they, they did. Um, Except for it took me a while to figure it out. Uh, it's just that, you know, I don't, I mean, and my cuddle bug, it, it's, it's like new because I hardly use it. I hardly use it at all. Um, but 
I seen dies that I liked and I wanted to because I wanted to add these to my art journaling um, I like the bee and I really wanted the um, the doily the doily I'm, I'm in love with that doily it just did wonderful and these here are on like thicker cardstock this is on a texture textured cardstock so that's not bad but there you have it guys um, for the uh, little review on the ink uh, the dies and the stamps and me inking them I'm gonna try to work more on that one and try to get it to go better I'll keep these I'll I'll cut them out and I'll use them in something in my journal and just add more ink to it by hand and draw around it um, just to use it so I don't waste the paper but um, so that's it guys that's all I had for you today that's all the ink um, little inky things I got the acrylic and the dyes and they only bought like three beach so um, but I do have a couple more coming uh, I know I have another um, two more of these I believe are coming on the way so um, thank you guys for watching and I hope this helped someone um, and maybe informed you a little bit more. Until next time, guys, I'll see you soon, and you have a great day. Bye-bye, guys.